Hey guys, Untouchable here, welcome back to the channel. And we're gonna be doing some more bullshit about video games. And the topic of this session is, why do you wanna play Call of Duty Mobile? What What is the draw? What brings you in? What brought me in? It's not a good question. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I have allergies, so my voice is gonna sound a little bit more monotone. A little bit more depressing sounding, but that's okay. I'm going to try and make the mood as lightened as possible. <clears throat> um, so, the reason that Call of Duty Mobile is such a big game is because it came out the same year as Modern Warfare. This was like the build-up to Modern Warfare and the release of that game. Um, so, the, COD, the people of Activision partnered up with Tencent and was like, you know what, let's give the Call of Duty fans a little bit of nostalgia before we give them that big... Uh, brain fuck that is modern warfare that's coming out i mean we teased him for so long about a mobile game for years why not do that on the same day we're releasing one of the most anticipated games of the franchise and so that's what they did <coughs> excuse me <coughs> got something in my throat so basically that's why they created called mobile and we've been hearing rumors for years i think the earliest rumor was 2016 i believe is when we heard about this and it was confirmed in 2018, 28, the beginning of 2018, the year before this game was released, it was confirmed by Activision. And then PUBG Mobile's creator, Tencent, confirmed that they would be working on it with Activision, with Activision's full support. Now that's actually great that that's happening. <clears throat> by the way, guys, I'm not searching up facts. This is stuff I only know about. That, that I know, because I followed this story for a long time. For a very long time. <coughs> In fact, the day that this came... Not the day this came out, but the day where you could sign up to get bonus points for Call of Duty by making an Activision account, I signed up for that. <coughs> and that was June 2018, I believe? Yeah, it was somewhere in the summertime of, of uh, 2018 when they asked to sign up. And I created an Activision account, and I was waiting. I was like, okay, this is going to be cool. I could do... Because for me, that's when I... 2018 is when I first started my YouTube channel. I was like, okay, I got PUBG. And if I get Call of Duty, that's going to be a big hit. Remember, guys, I only had... About June 2018, I only had about three or four subscribers. I wasn't a big YouTube star at then. I'm not as... I wasn't as big as I am now. <clears throat> I'm still not big. That's what she said, though. <laughs> but anyway, I, I think, really, to put this all in perspective of what this uh, game really is is the planning, the development that went into it. They did a very good job on most everything. <clears throat> the character voices are very well thought out. Uh, the character models look excellent for a mobile game. I, I mean, guys, look at the scenery you're seeing here. This is Crash, the map Crash. I can't remember what uh, Modern Warfare game or what Call of Duty the game this is from. So if you want to be write me in the comments, or actually I would like to know, tell me about it. Uh, I'm not really big of a Call of Duty fan. I've only like played World at War and COD World War II and a few other games here and there, but that, that that's about it. But as you can see, look at the animations are good for the most part, except for knifing. They actually had to fix that because it's very derpy. <laughs> the the running animations look great. The the character movements, the cars, the environments, the kill streaks work phenomenally. I mean, look at, look at this. Where could you in a mobile game throw a fucking hunter killer drone? And watch it blow up somebody. The uh, particle effects are good too in the game. Now you could probably see that the uh, walls and stuff are blurred a little bit. That's okay. Look at this. Look how detailed that map is on the Predator missile. <coughs> the weapon skins are all very nicely made. Um, the game runs incredibly well for a mobile game. Like I have no, um, I have no Wi-Fi, guys. I run on my data network, and my data network is very shitty. But I do lag. Not bad, though. Not as bad as PUBG. Never as bad as that ever was. Like, I'll hit max ping, but then it should go straight down. I've only disconnected a few times, but... <clears throat> that's because that's usually during a storm. I mean, look at these animations, guys. These look great. The uh, score streaks are good. The kill streaks are good. Like, look at this hive machine. Look how detailed that looks. Look how detailed the sky is. Look at that. These buildings are great. The particles on the ground are awesome. Uh, what what else? The shooting mechanics are very nice. Except for on some of the guns. Uh, some of the guns feel a bit lackluster when you pull the trigger. They should feel powerful, but they're not. One gun in particular I'm going to... Or one... 
think I'm going to particulate and choose and go off on is uh, the shotguns in this game. Striker's not one of them. Striker's actually really good. <coughs> it's a really good shotgun, but the other... Oh, no, the striker and the uh, revolver shotgun. Those two guns are actually really good. The other two shotguns, well, I shouldn't say they're not bad, but they could use a little bit thing, because uh, I found out when I played this, when I first got the game and I unlocked all the shotguns, I had every single one of them unlocked, and I tried to uh, see what was wrong with them, or see which one was better, and I found out that the striker and the revolver one is the, the two best ones in the game. That doesn't mean the other two pump actions are not good either. The The pump actions are both the lever action model 1887 and the uh, pump action are both great for certain scenarios. But the thing I've noticed with those two shotguns is they are very delayed when it comes to shooting sometimes. Like you could pull the trigger and they won't shoot. You'll have to tap like twice for them to shoot. And it's very weird. And I don't know why the developers put that in there. But if the developers put that in or for like... So you can't rapid fire them. I can understand that. But there, there's got to be a... That's one of the only things they really had to fix. Make it so you don't have to double tap your shotgun to make it go off. Make it single tap. Make that a setting. Because some players actually enjoy the, the toggle action where you could double tap and stuff. <coughs> um, and also, I'm not going to gripe on this too much, but the attachments, make sure they match the gun that they go on to. Please don't make them just boring looking. Now... The camp the, there's no campaign in this Call of Duty. I hope they do put one in. That'd be kind of cool. Like a little snippet from all the um, <clears throat> all the um, Call of Duty games that this is referring to. Another cool thing in this game is Battle Royale. It's a little bit boring sometimes because, well, bots for your first few experiences. But once you get out of that experience and you start playing against real people, it's actually really fun to enjoy. Um... Zombies, eh, eh, they need a little bit of work. Not much, though. Um, it, it just has to do how easy the last boss is. Like, if you're playing on regular mode, it's really easy. And also, could you please make more Easter eggs? I actually made a cool Easter egg in the game. I, I had to make a video about that. But uh, other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And really, if you love mobile gaming, please get this game it is awesome you will love it i love it i'm not a big call of duty fan but this has drawn me in officially to the call of call of duty universe and uh it's one of my favorite games to play so with that said i'll see you guys in the next episode